Hello everybody. It's been a minute uh, since I've done a Lane Finds video. I'm going to lean on this. It's very cold. The weather has changed. I'm going to kneel on my favorite wool blanket. Uh, I'm probably going to do a few videos. So I have a pile here, of course. I actually have four. Uh, the first one is kind of a weird miscellaneous one. And I've been really busy with shoots lately, so I don't have any artwork in process, but stay tuned. There will be some soon. On with the finds. So this first video is a pull together of miscellaneous weird finds. This first thing is actually really cool. It is a puzzle. Look at all those line drawings of faces. I'm starting this tonight with my friends over at their place. Nice. All right, weird, weird, wild things. Um, I don't know what this is. It's like a little bag, Velcro, cash. I'm not sure, but hopefully somebody will get it and use it. Um, a really lovely, uh, this is really nice and soft. Somebody will really enjoy this. Uh, cowl. Some purple champion sweatpants. Really good shape. I already have a pair of black ones, so I'm giving these back. A really nice cardigan from, I think it's Forever 21. It's uh, clean. Again, for those tiny, tiny people out there in the world. This is another thing that's really tiny. <laughs> I know this, like the size of these things always makes me giggle, but there are people out there that are this tiny. Oh, look at these. <laughs> anyway, I'm just giggling. This is interesting. It's a dress. But it has a very low, I don't know how it goes. It's very strange. Again, for those tiny, tiny people. Oh, and there's some nice uh, socks. So that is number one. Uh, I've added a couple things that I'm giving away. Uh, Grace came last, not Grace, Gloria came last weekend and took 12 bags. Two of those bags admittedly were, um, Oh, the sweater's really big. Um, we're very large garbage bags. I did a big purge in my closet and I always feel so much better after that. So I was actually a little bit frustrated with getting all those bags downstairs. <laughs> it took a long time and it took a lot of effort. Uh, that was last Saturday. So um, I guess maybe I'll find out if she'll come next week and pick up again because I have another stash. I'm so excited about this. Women is the new strong. Still sealed up. But yeah, I actually found that with this Club Monaco vintage sweatshirt. Clean. And I'm gonna sew this patch on the front. Just to make it a little bit interesting. Modified a little bit. It's really worn out. So yeah, that's sort of a rough placement. Anyway, that's what we're doing with that. On to more finds. Favorites. Levi's distressed only one pocket. <laughs> They're wearing out though. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to wear them. I have to patch them again. They're just tearing. Anyway, comfortable. So we're back, more finds. Some of these are individual finds. Some of these are finds in few, fews, whatever, I don't know. Um, but I have put them all together because they're a good lot. Uh, the other two uh, videos that I will make more finds all together. These are Naked and Famous. Naked and Famous is part of a raw denim uh, collective. They are um, 
if you want to know what raw denim is, it's mostly denim that is made with a lot less water. Levi's has a whole campaign of it. They will have the tag right on the inside. It's a very big tag and it'll explain. But in any other pair of denim, if you want to know, you just look at the tag on the inside and mostly raw denim is 100% cotton. And it could feel like if you ever go to a specialty denim shop here in Vancouver, we have one called Dutil, um, and try some on, you will know exactly right away what I'm talking about. Most of the denim that you buy in these retail outlets have a little bit of elastine in them, which means they actually have plastic in them. They have stretch. Um, the plastic is what makes it stretch. Like the actual, the molecules of the stretch are the same as the molecules of the plastic. I know I'm, I'm ranting and getting way too technical, but I kind of enjoy this stuff. So I want to share it. The reason why I love secondhand Levi's so much, a lot of them are a hundred percent cotton. They're vintage, but they feel really soft. They don't feel like the retail raw den denim that you will buy now. I shot for a denim brand um, a few years back. They gave me a pair and I ended up giving them back because I couldn't wear them. I just, they were just, they felt like wearing cardboard. Long story, I know. But these guys, um, I picked them up. You can see the wallet in the, so a lot of people who are really sort of dedicated to their denim, dedicated to raw denim, will just only wear that pair of jeans. And so they get really worn out. That's where a lot of jeans wear. They wear in the crotch. You've heard me say many times that I always check the crotch. This is the reason why. And I picked these up because these are so beautiful. I'm going to repair that. I'm going to sew that. So Somebody already kind of tried and they just kept wearing them and now they're even more ripped. So I'm going to see what I can do. They're really, really, really nice denim. Super soft, raw denim, already broken in. Just need a crotch repair. We can do that. On to the finds. If you guys have been following the bird's papaya, this reminded me of her. I found this uh, velour blazer. Sometimes the color cast on these is really weird. Nice and gray on the inside. Uh, checking the pockets, I found a flyer for a funeral. So we're definitely gonna pass this jacket on, even though it's similar to the season that the Bird's Papaya did with, um, I think it's Smash and Test, they did a whole velour line, or no, uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, look it up, it's currently on her, on her feed. Bird's Papaya, she's pretty lovely. These are old vintage uh, pants from The Gap, and these already have a reinforced crotch. <laughs> these are 100% cotton, but they're just, uh, I don't know, cargo pants with a million more pockets than what a regular cargo pant would have. These are so fun. I already tried them on. They fit. I had them wear them tomorrow. I am starting something new tomorrow. I will share that soon. Crotch is fine. <laughs> so I'm going to throw those aside. Uh, these are interesting. So these are called Outclass. They're made in Canada. Sometimes you will find a pair of actual cotton pants slash denim. Uh, whoever had these had these for a really long time because they repaired the crotch. That's like a professional repair. Um, these are also 100% cotton. Or like a denim blend. Yeah. Wash cold by hand and hang to dry. So yeah, interesting. Um, I found this Old Navy puffy jacket, which is perfect for this time of year for the people that we're giving to. And remember, we are giving directly to shelters. We are not giving to Value Village. I did go to Valley Village the other day and I did buy a pair of jeans. I bought a pair of Levi's for $15. I can't resist. They were perfect. They fit perfect. They're lovely. Slipper socks. 
I think these are from like chapters or something. They do a crazy thing like that every year. Um, this sweatshirt, somebody really loved this. It's a penny. Somebody will also really love this. Um, this I found alone. I kind of like this hoodie. I don't know if I'll keep it. We'll see. Grand Canyon. Oversized. Washed. It was raining. So, of course, you know me. When it's raining, I take it home. These two items I found together. Somebody was living in the parking garage uh, next door. It's open. It's, it's open in the front, but closed in on, like, the top and the sides and the back. And... When you find things that a homeless person has left behind, they call it a nest. Like some addictions have an inclination towards hoarding. So they find things, find things, find things, and then they'll nest somewhere for a little while. There was a giant um, comforter there, and then they, they had abandoned it. It was abandoned for a few days. And in that comforter, I thought about actually taking the comforter home and washing it and re rejuvenating it, but it was not, it was not rejuvenable. I don't know if that's a word. Anyway, these two things were folded into the comforter. They're, these are Lululemon like casual pants. Really nice. I've already actually worn them. And these are denim forum. Bottom flies. So yeah, everything is just, it's sort of a mishmash things that I have found. Nothing that um, is outstanding, but some pretty great things that I, I have a pile here that I'm going to give away. There is a senior center at the Denman Mall. They collect donations and uh, if I can carry them, manage them, I'll take them over there. I did find a professional steamer this morning, a hand one, it's like this big. So I am going to donate my little Barbie steamer, <laughs> which if you overfill will spit water at you like crazy. Anyway, it's a very steep learning curve with that steamer, but somebody else will enjoy it just as much as I did. <laughs> All right, video number three. Um, in case you're wondering why my hair looks a little bit bigger and why I have it pinned back, I got it cut. She gave me bangs and I'm having a hard time figuring out how to wear bangs again. It's been a really, really long time since I've had bangs. Um, this bag is a bit of a mishmash. I found it last night on my walk home. Um, going to the grocery store late at night looking for something to eat. Uh, most of the stuff in here is really cool though, but this I kind of find really interesting. This is, I think it's a, it's a giant skirt. It's really big. Look at how big that is. But I'm thinking, oh, well, there's some ties in the middle. I don't know if it's like reversible or something. Yeah, like what are those? <laughs> Do you see those? That's weird. But anyway, what I'm thinking is it would be like something to wear like this. I think that would be fun because it would be so big and so swingy and it has like you can tie it so that it's not going to fall down. So I'm going to keep that even though I don't know what all those ties are in the, in the middle. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, sweater. Really like soft. This is so soft. So soft. It's like sort of stuck. It has a lot of static, <laughs> but it's really nice. This skirt, I think it's just from H&M. It's not real leather, but it's so fun. Look at that. So fun. This jacket, here, I'll show you in a sec. Um, Shirt from Zara. Ooh. Clean. Tiny little pants. These are, I think, Sunday best. And 
This is from Hollister dress. Again, for the extra small people. I wanted to show you this. This jacket is really nice. This is from H&M. I'm not going to put it on now because it won't fit over this giant sweater, but look at that. Super cute overcoat, hey? It has pockets too. So I'm definitely keeping that. So yeah, I'm shooting some denim this weekend and I think I might use that because the person I'm shooting is very tiny and I could use this because this is a very small. Okay, number four is coming up. Four. So, okay, guilty, secret, pleasure, I don't know. Um, I was walking by a dumpster. It was open. They're not often open. They're usually locked and uh, kept closed. This one was open. It's one that I've seen clothing in before. So I looked and I found a bunch. I did reach in and pull it out. Judge me. I don't care. I feel more strongly that those clothes do not go to the landfill, that they go to somebody who needs them, than I feel about your judgment. They were just all laying on top. I'll run them through the washing machine before I donate them to Gloria. Don't worry about that. Good news is none of them even smell. So, like, I don't know why people throw clothing away. Please don't throw it away. If you have a bag and you're just, don't know what to do with it, put it in the lane. Somebody will pick it up. Don't throw it away. Don't put it inside the dumpster. There's not enough crazy people like me in the world to retrieve it so that it doesn't go to the landfill. <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is a hoodie. It's a nice big one. So I feel like the people who are larger size don't always get uh, things that are donated that are like a proper fit. It's a cute little skirt. A lot of this is shin. This is this will be really nice and warm for somebody. Hoodie, curly. This is a longer skirt. It's not really in season, but it's cute. Um, I think these pants are from Uniqlo. Yeah, very similar to the ones I had from Lulu. This dress is wild. This still has a tag on it. Perfect for a Caribbean vacation. Yeah, they're still, it's like made of waffle fabric, like towel fabric, but yeah, shame. So somebody threw away something that they have never worn. Think about that for a second. Shin bodysuit. Uh, this is a hoodie. This is a Nike hoodie. Just do it. Do you guys see that movie with Ben Affleck uh, called Air? Highly recommend it. It's really good. Another hoodie. This is from Old Navy, but again, it's a larger size. So those larger size people can have something too. A nice skirt. Uh, this is Zara Man. Nice, huh? was all in the dumpster. You wanna judge me for pulling it out? I don't care. Look at all this stuff. This is a fun scarf. Somebody will have a lot of fun with that. Somebody who has really interesting style. This dress, look at this dress. Nothing wrong with it. And this green hoodie, I wish you could feel this. It's polyester. It's a really strange feeling. It's cute though, huh? So yeah. That's the recap. And uh, like I said, go ahead and judge me, but it's not going into the landfill. So if I get to lean over the edge of a dumpster and pick some clothes out, I get to do that. That's cool.